Greetings, administrators. Today we have among us the most anticipated lady from the Society of Muses. A lady famous all across the Amorphes Sephira zone for her beauty, elegance, and grace. Let us all give a warm welcome to the Phantasmal Dawn, Hera. The Phantasmal Dawn is a light element, universal support unit. She belongs to the Olympus faction of characters, and uses energy as the resource to execute her skills. Her basic attack, white flash, fire beams of light at the targeted foe, dealing light damage and generates for her three energy per seconds. Her dodge skill, Phantasmal Light Dance, triggers a two-second time fracture and summons multiple light arrows at the target's location, dealing AOE light damage. Skill 1. Fallen Morning Star, summoning five meteors from the heavens to bombard the enemy with AOE light damage. The skill's full casting animation can be cancelled by using a dodge a second after the skill is cast for optimal rotations. Skill 2. Dawn Prayer deals AOE light damage to the surrounding enemies. In addition, the teammate with the highest attack will have their attack boosted by up to 37% for 15 seconds. You can further control how she uses this skill from her chip upgrades. Skill 3. The Great Bear's Fury summons a celestial constellation from above to bombard her enemies with AOE light damage. The skill's full animation can be cancelled by using dodging as soon as the skill is cast. Her ultimate, Echo Chamber, increases the team's total damage by 28% for 12 seconds. In addition, the first skill cast directly after the ultimate is cast will have its resource cost be refunded. This can be triggered once per teammate, per ultimate cast. She will gain 8% of her ultimate charge every time a teammate triggers a time fracture. Her signature functor herald, Miriam, allows her to trigger a time fracture every time she successfully dodge an enemy attack. In addition, by consuming 30 energy, she's able to trigger a second time fracture on demand by holding down the dodge skill. The on-demand time fracture can only be triggered once every 24 seconds. Furthermore, the character that is under the effect of skill 2, Dawn's Wish, will have their total damage increased by an additional 32% while a time fracture is active. This damage buff is increased by 8% per functor transcendence and maxes out at 80%. Her signature functor is indeed responsible for a sizable portion of her support capabilities. But if you've seen any of my other guides, you know how we feel about signature equipment around here. The character is more than serviceable using the default 5-star free to play Functor. That being said though, do prioritize her signature Functor over constellations. I know a lot of people want to get her to double S+, but that is only useful if you have her Functor. For our sigils, we want Virgo's Meteor for slot 1, 3 and 5. This will shorten the cooldown of our skills and ultimate every time a time fracture is triggered. For slots 2, 4 and 6, Jormuganda is ideal to address the issue of energy. Jormuganda is a very simple set and will just grant you a chance to gain energy whenever your modifier expends energy. In the future, you can replace Jormuganda with Victor's Peon when it becomes available. This set will completely outclass Jormuganda's energy generation while providing a crit damage buff for the user and bonus damage for the entire team. For Phantasmal Dawn, you want to stack at least eight fierce assault attack enchantments. This will further increase the damage buff she provides with her skill to when running the blue ether codes, so prioritize those eight attack enchantments over all else. Loopback is going to be great for helping her get ultimate up as quickly as possible. Raptor will reduce the cooldown dodge effect, allowing her to trigger time fractures more often. Do note though Raptor's effect does not affect the on-demand time fracture that can be triggered by her functor. For support, Phantasmal Dawn, three blues are going to be your go-to for ether codes with or without her functor. This will decrease the cooldown of skill 2 by 5 seconds. Skill 2 will no longer be able to target her, but her attack will be increased by 25% for 15 seconds after it is cast. In addition, the character under the effect of skill 2 will have their attack be further boosted by 25% of Hera's attack for 15 seconds. This is one of the reasons you want to stack those eight attack enchantments. Alternatively, three red is also viable, but I would only recommend it to those of you who want to play her as a main DPS and have her signature functor. 
Once the level cap for sigils is raised to 60, we will gain the ability to further upgrade our characters via these sigil power-up mods. The following mods are going to be the ones you want to unlock for your Phantasmal Dawn. Slots 1 and 2 can safely be ignored. They don't provide any benefit to her support capability, but if you are running her as a DPS, choosing to increase the level of skill 1, lowering its cooldown timer or getting bonus damage to range attacks are ideal. For slots 3 and 4, you want to select 2 Evolution Particle number 2 and 2 Flashback Core number 2. The Evolution Particle mods will increase skill 2's level by 12, meaning the buff it provides to teammates will also increase. And Flashback Core mods will decrease skill 2's cooldown by 12%. For slots 5 and 6, grab 2 Integration Perceptions and 2 Diffusion Pendulums. The Integration mods will increase her ultimate level by 12, meaning you'll get more damage from the buff it provides, and the Diffusion mods will decrease the ultimate's cooldown by 9%. When it comes to team compositions, there are no limits, and you are free to play her on any comp you desire. If you want my advice, however, they are as follows. If your Phantasmal Dawn is equipped with her signature functor, your ideal comp would be one that is capable of triggering time fractures at a high frequency. You may have noticed by now, not all modifiers are capable of triggering time fractures on perfect evasions, so those who can will benefit a lot more from her functor. A great example of this are Tsukuyomi and Buzunbo. I choose those two specifically because they will also trigger a 5 second time fracture upon casting the Thousand Burials ultimate skill chain, making them another source of on-demand time fracture for the Phantasmal Dawn. Another good character to pair with her is Archaic Oath Verthandi, because she will always trigger a time fracture after countering an attack with her Counter-Strike skill. And of course she pairs with Tsukuyomi, making that team a pretty meta team comp to run. She can also pairs with Shu, so Shu enjoyers can rejoice. Some characters will benefit from her ultimate a lot more than others. For example, Tsukuyomi equipped with her signature functor will consume all of her rage meter on skill 3 cast. However, if she casts skill 3 right after the Phantasmal Dawn's ultimate skill, 3 will not drain her rage meter, allowing her to squeeze in more damage into her rotations. Osiris equipped with her signature functor will also gain the ability to consume all her traces with skill 3 soul death, to increase its damage by 12% for every trace consumed. Casting soul death after the phantasmal dawn's ultimate will not consume any of her traces, allowing you to get better damage out of her rotations. One last great example of this is Leviathan's Azure Aid skill. No signature functor needed for this one. Usually this skill will consume of all her traces on cast. However, if the Phantasmal Dawn's ultimate was cast before Azure Aid, none of her trace will be consumed. In addition, Leviathan's ultimate have the same effect as the Phantasmal Dawn's on her traces, meaning she can cast Azure Aid up to three times before her traces are consumed. Just make sure you cast Phantasmal Dawn's ultimate first, followed by Azure Aid. Leviathan's ultimate followed by the second Azure Aid and Azure Aid once more. Using their ultimate back-to-back -back will not stack, and only one will take effect. Hera's support capabilities are universal. It doesn't matter what elements her teammates are, what gen zone they belong to, or whether or not they share a ultimate skill chain. This elegant lady from the Society of Muses truly is the light of this world. My dearest friends, if you have enjoyed this video, a like rating would be greatly appreciated. If you have decided to subscribe, please turn on notifications to stay up to date with all of my latest uploads. Until next time, take care and best of luck on your summons.